everyone, welcome back. About a year ago, I posted a video where I was talking about a new reading challenge that I'd set for myself. This was mostly based off of my current bookshelf situation at the time, and the fact that I had several shelves where I had set them up the mixture of books that I had read and loved, and books that I had not read but anticipated loving. For whatever reason, it was taking me a really long time to get to those unread books, and I had a lot of them, and th those were just the books that were on those, those anticipated shelves. I had other unread books, but I was really just trying to focus on those um, ones that I thought I was going to love, and this was a way for me to just kind of focus more on what I already owned as opposed to going out and buying all the pretty new things as we bookworms are wont to do. Uh, that has been going really well. I have been working through all those books. I've made some definite progress. I've also brought in some new books because that's just gonna happen. Um, so, you know, the, the numbers have, have uh, oscillated a bit. They've gone up and down. But um, yeah, I, I have been enjoying this challenge a lot. It's made me a lot more mindful of what I'm buying and um, also just what I already own because I have so many good books. As of 2019, I have been doing a much better job, I think, of doing this challenge. I've kind of upped the ante a bit, and I've started incorporating all the shelves that had unread books on them. I've also been using the library a lot more, so I'm not bringing in as many new books, and all of that has been really helpful. But I decided it was time to get more serious with this, and I did something I thought I would never do. I rearranged my bookshelves so that I have a TBR shelf. I'm pretty sure at times I have boldly declared that this is something I just cannot do. I can do it. I did it. Here we are. So um, I'm here today to give you a little update on the bookshelf challenge as well as give you a little mini uh, bookshelf tour since I have done this rearrangement. So nothing has changed in the quantity of my bookshelves. I still have uh, my set of Ikea Billy bookshelves. I have three of them that are full of books, a fourth that is just for random stuff. Of the three shelves, the one on the far right is my TBR shelf, though I will throw in the disclaimer that of course I had to fudge things a little bit. And I do have um, four Robin Hobb books that are not on that shelf because I still wanted to have my full beautiful Robin Hobb shelf. Um, and then I also have four self-help books uh, that I haven't read and that just didn't, it just made sense to put them all on their own shelf because I don't have that many of them. Um, so those are off on the far left shelf. But other than that, the right shelf, the far right shelf is all TBR. With this rearrangement, I am now considering all the books on the right shelf to be in this challenge, which has made my total go up considerably. Uh, I have on the very top shelf, there are uh, my queer lit books, and there are currently nine unread. On the shelf below that, I have my fantasy books, which have 25 unread. Below that, um, I have sort of a combination. First, I have three graphic novels I haven't read, as well as 19 science fiction books. And then on the bottom shelf, or at least the one, the low shelf with actual books on it, uh, I have 33 books, technically 29 on the shelf, plus four that are new. Um, and those are kind of miscellaneous. Yes, you might notice there are some in there that could qualify as sci-fi or fantasy or whatever, but this made sense to me to put them all together. So that's how it is. Um, all together there, I have 89 books. I think in my last video, my total was more around 50. So um, I have read through a lot of things. I've added some things where I have a lot of books to get through. As a side note, uh, I was so excited about all this, I decided to actually go through my Kindle and uh, make a little collection with the unread books that I wanted to have as part of this. Um, and Jess and I have combined our Kindle accounts. We have like a combined household Prime account. So that includes her books as well. And um, that was really a sad state of affairs because I have 129 books in that collection. That I think is, I, I'm glad to be aware of it, but I'm not necessarily counting it as part of this challenge because <laughs> that's just a lot to deal with. Um, but it's good for me to know that that's happening. Then with the, uh, the other shelves that I have, just to go through a little bit, um, I have uh, in the center shelf, the top is sort of my fancy fantasy books. They're, you know, pretty copies of books that I really enjoy in the fantasy genre. Um, below that, I have a mixture of science fiction books uh, on the far left, or 
yes, far left, it's uh, vintage sci-fi books from S'more Sci-Fi Book Club. And then on the right, it is some of my more favorite modern science fiction books. Um, below that and kind of right behind me here are all of my Sherlock Holmes books, which is admittedly mostly Mary Russell novels uh, by Laurie R. King. I have a very large collection of those. Um, then is the aforementioned Robin Hobb shelf with all of my beautiful matching Robin Hobb books. Um, and below that is a collection of mass market paperbacks. Um, with one exception of a Night Runner short story collection because most of my mass market books are the Night Runner books. Um, and then on the very bottom of this shelf are all of my um, graphic novels that I've read. Then finally on the left shelf, the far left shelf, at the top I have the aforementioned self-help books, which is kind of split half and half between read and unread. Um, below that I have a shelf that's a mixture of um, fantasy and sci-fi books that I have read and enjoyed. Below that is a shelf that is mostly unchanged from the last video. It's sort of a shrine that I've set up because I have this whole thing about being a halfling cleric and D&D &D and then also uh, writing and ghost stories and um, it's just sort of built up around these things I love and that I get good vibes from. So that's my little shrine shelf. Um, below that is another sort of mixture. It's got some classics as well as a few hardbacks that just didn't really have a great place and this made the most sense to me. Um, and below that are my favorite red queer lit books. Um, and then below that is a cat scratcher, which is also important. Um, so that's kind of where I am with my shelves, with my reading challenge. I'm really excited to have this new setup. I am actually really pleased that I was able to set it up in such a way that it's split between read and unread, but I also have that genre divisions because that that's just really what I love in my shelves. I love to have them divided up by genres and um, have those little sections of like an author like Robin Hobb where I just have a ton of their books. That makes the most sense. It makes my brain happy. So ha being able to do a TBR shelf with that still happening was fantastic. And there you have my updated reading challenge, my updated bookshelf tour. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this challenge. Have you been doing something like this or have you done it in the past? Do you have a remarkably small TBR? Because I don't know how people do that. It's I have 90 books on my shelf that I have to read. How did this happen to me? Um, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope you all are having a fabulous week so far and I will talk to you soon. Bye!